Oh, I got him. First try. We've made it to the back lake and I gotta change my battery out. Took one entire battery just to get back here. That's a long ways off to make something happen. We haven't seen anything, no signs of life whatsoever all the way out here. There goes a, a redfish tail right there. Literally just saw the first redfish tail, so that is very promising. We're not going to use the trolling motor anymore. We're just going to be quiet, push pull through this entire area, and blind cast weedless. Um, if we go slow, there's a red that just spooked right here. So they're out here. You just got to be patient, look for the tails. It came up sniffing it. You can tell that it was. It found a scent trail. Went to the top water, got a good look at it, and spooked off. Oh, I'm seeing them. I see their tails. I see their dorsals. They're just all over, son. It's they just don't want to bite. Like I got fish bites on, and it makes them come to the top water. I'm not even moving it. Uh-oh. Yes! I just heard the blow up, so I cast in that general area and just left it there. Oh, dude. Hey, hey, hey. Take it easy. Get out. There you go. Get out from there. Buddy. Hush. Oh, there goes a keeper right there, son. Nice 20 incher. Boy, he got the entire top water in his mouth. Wow. Man, it's just like trying your patience, just trying to get these guys to bite and not spook off. This is about 22. Chill out now. Holy cow, that hook is in there. Keep them? Well, yeah, but it's. Uh... Yeah, it's not to retie, huh? No, I'm not going to retie. I'm just trying to get. Okay, there it is. I see it. It's at the top of his mouth. There we go. Got him. Woo! I'll show y'all. Well, actually, I don't know if I did record the clip on what it was that I was doing and how to get these guys to bite, but yeah, there we go. The fruits of our labor right there, just sticking with it, being patient, and that is a gorgeous pan-sized eater. Woo, baby. <laughs> yeah. Well, I cast super far. I reeled it in to where I noticed he was at, and then um, I barely twitching to give it movement and then I just let it set still and he came over and grabbed it oh I got him first try yeah look at that first try now we'll get the other portion of this process 
I'm trying to be as quick as I can. That guy is no longer feeling pain. We just stabbed straight through his brain. And that puts him out of his misery. So he's not long he's no longer gonna build up the uh, it's like uh, the lactic acid, the cortisol or whatever it is. I just got to get through these scales, get them out of the way. Okay, hopefully that's deep enough. Yeah, I got it. So what y'all are seeing is me disrupting the brain's uh, signals coming from up there throughout his spine, the, uh, the neural canal. And so that's going to stop him from twitching and what is it? Releasing... It's the lactic acid. Releasing the lactic acid. What it's doing is just cutting the signal from the brain. Uh, he's already brain dead, not experiencing any pain, but his body still is producing signals that's doing like lactic acid to release. And um, I couldn't get through his neural canal, so we just come back here and bleed him at the same time. But that's what y'all were seeing on all those twitches. There we are. My first, oh man, successful attempt at using the uh, Ikajime method. And then we got the fish bag with our little, so to say, ice slurry. Twenty-two and a quarter. Not bad. That right there literally was my first attempt at doing the Ikajime method to my catch. And it's gonna allow us to have a better tasting fish, so to say. Time will tell if the meat is gonna be a bit fresher. If anything, we immediately dispatch and humanely kill our catch to be able to um, allow that fella to pass peacefully, so to say. And uh, I'm looking forward to being able to practice this more and more. I have been trying in the past and it was just downright brutal uh, trying to learn uh, the anatomy of a redfish but after study 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 and then finally buying the proper equipment hopefully we're going to be able to uh, just perfect our method it's a sheep's head Boy, being able to see them and then just, oh, that's a black drum. But you gotta be able to see these guys. It's almost like pointless to blind cast out here. They're so skittish. But if you can see them and then put that lure right in front of their face and then just don't surprise them, but let them think that they stumbled across bait. It changes the game up. It gives you an opportunity to actually cast and catch these fellas. We'll see you later, my friend. Yeah, that wouldn't have happened if I didn't sight cast the fella. There's just no way. They are way too skittish. The reason why I'm thinking that this little tiny shrimp lure is working is because it's so light that when it falls down, it lands on top of the grass and I can just kind of twitch it around without getting gummed up. And it'll just move around and give motion in the area that they've got their heads rooting around digging inside that grass. 
heavy lures are just gonna sink and they'll get gummed up with grass and it just does not look natural. This thing is super lightweight. Just making it work. Well, we kept this lure in motion the entire time. We went through three different ones inside this main bayou, hoping to get one or two more catches on the way back to the ramp, but it just did not pan out. And I think that was gonna be my last cast right there. I'm gonna pay attention to the open water, get back to the ramp, and we're gonna call it quits for this great day of fishing. It's always great whenever you can catch something and the conditions are just super tough. I am grateful to be able to come out here, fish every day, take home a, uh, a nice bite to eat. That redfish is gonna go down good, probably do some tacos or something or another, I'm not too sure. Thanks for watching, I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all. And until next time, tight lines y'all.